best platform to get interview call does such platform really exist and welcome back to beyond interviews we have bhagya our talent acquisition specialist at intuit she have worked with the flipkart moengage essential and lot more company she is going to cover lot more interesting thing in terms of how the hrs basically look after the resume or the profile for a fresher or for experienced person so many things are going to be covered and she is going to help in terms of thinking beyond the platforms even right so keep watching this episode till the end and don't forget to subscribe before you move on we have bhagya with us i'm glad you said yes for the another session uh, uh, for chuck day interview and uh, yeah bhagya this time why why don't you go and introduce yourself in terms of your professional journey yeah thanks thanks to like thanks uh, for having me as part of this uh, webinar um so i have been in the industry for about uh, 12 years now and i have spent uh, you know uh, entire tenure in recruitment while i have also worked on some of the hr uh, you know uh, aspects as well but i personally find uh, recruiting fun uh, you know i have worked in startups as well as in mncs but i uh, you know i always had uh, you know uh, best tenure in startups i felt because of the exponential learning and uh, you know different uh, you know uh, zone of uh, working so that always excited me so currently i am associated with uh, intuit uh, i am um, uh, uh, leading the uh, hiring efforts for uh, product management program management and design hiring mm-hmm. um, so happy to share uh, you know uh, this forum with whatever questions i can help with great by the way just to highlight she didn't just talked about she have also worked with the flipkart essential lot more many companies she has worked about so i think we have experience today she is going to talk from experience from last 12 year glad to have you okay so may, let, let me start with a very interesting problem statement or question basically most of the folks have which is which is the best platform in order to basically get a interview call or basically apply for the interview or apply for the resume right so what is that medium or the platform that you would like to suggest i like is that a company website most of the time people say no you can go for a referral there are myth that people go for maybe the third party vendor right there are a lot of online platforms basically so what's your thought and what's your suggestions uh yeah like you rightly said uh, you know if we look at uh, uh 10 15 years back there were uh, you know uh, hardly any number of uh, platforms so people by default you know uh, uh, went to those platforms and uh, you know uh, created their profile and applied for jobs right but we have evolved a lot uh, and you see uh, you know every possible uh, you know quarter or a Uh, you know half yearly you see, you keep seeing new platforms right so sometimes it's it might be confusing uh, for candidates uh, you know which platform to go to where do i increase my chances of applications all of that right Correct. so it's no different uh, challenge for recruiters as well because um, you know companies typically have licenses for a few company a few platforms and then there will be you know potential candidates beyond that as well right mm-hmm. uh, but uh, you know i have a different uh, you know Uh, suggestion or uh, approach uh, here so uh, i would uh, recommend to look beyond uh, platforms right okay. see platforms okay. yes they are there uh, you can keep doing that also but uh, there are a lot more to do beyond platforms so when i say uh, beyond platforms so i'll cover this uh, question into uh, you know sections one mm-hmm. i will cover for freshers mm-hmm. okay and the second part i will cover for you know the Uh, you know experienced professionals right okay. yeah. so uh, see for experienced professionals it somehow gets easier because they have work experience or they have met with certain colleagues in the current company and they might have moved out to a different company and they may have you know second degree connection all of that right so mm-hmm. it becomes easier for them uh, somehow and or they might have gained that uh, you know knowledge by then but it is tougher for freshers right especially uh, for those uh, you know uh, students who are not from uh, very well known uh, you know uh, institutions mm-hmm. or they do not have proper uh, you know placement or uh, you know uh, pre placement uh, prep all of that right mm-hmm. so my recommendation to all the students is you know whichever uh, you know uh, domain or uh, specialization you have choose chosen right mm-hmm. so don't uh, you know wait until 
you need to get a internship in one or two months or you need to get placed because your uh, education is getting completed that's too late mm-hmm. okay so yeah. i recommend as you started your uh, you know uh, college right so you know mm-hmm. where you will be heading to so start you know uh, building network or connection through linkedin right mm-hmm. so not also not making connections randomly right so uh, from the recruiter point of view or you know uh, recruit uh, recruiter as or recruitment so reach out to uh, you know the campus recruiters not any recruiter for that <laughs> matter important okay? point because yeah. <laughs> right so see in companies uh, for different level of hiring uh, different recruitment teams are there okay mm-hmm. so there is a university or campus recruiting team there is a you know lateral hiring team and there is a leadership hiring team mm-hmm. okay so if you are a fresher you are connecting with a leadership hiring recruiter or a lateral recruiter they will not be of any help for you at least in the beginning of your career mm-hmm. because the internships or the placements is end to end owned by the campus recruitment team okay so uh, you may think that hey i reached out to a recruiter from the same company they can pass on the profile no mm-hmm. it doesn't work like that it it is not that it w- they will not be able to you know pass on see uh, companies work and recruiters also work on a you know great scale just like you guys build you know products at a different scale right yeah. so we also do hiring at a different scale and you know the complexities so sometimes it's uh, you know uh, we may it's it's uh, gets very challenging to you know keep a check on every email that we get mm-hmm. so uh, that way you are reach if you in the first place reach out to the right spoke then mm-hmm. your work becomes you know much easier right mm-hmm. so that is one uh, you know tip i would say build start building connection early on and stay connected okay not just you made a connection they are there in your connection and forget it no so time to time you know you can just uh, you know uh, stay in touch with them that's mm-hmm. one thing and the second thing is identify some of the key leaders especially uh, people with a title of engineering manager mm-hmm. or a team lead or a director right so connect with them because they are your future hiring managers right sure. so uh, and also uh, think of your current date and uh, you know by the time you uh, are aspiring career so mm-hmm. some people also will grow to a manager right so Correct. look for those uh, you know uh, experience level of employees and then uh, you know uh, you uh, start building connection so people might ask uh, i mean uh, you know students might have this question that you know hey we don't know how to use linkedin <laughs> we don't know you know how to establish network all of that right yeah. come on we use facebook we use instagram <laughs> and we are all self taught right so uh, linkedin is one such you know uh, you know friendly platform so yeah. you just have to spend some time and the you know workflow of it and user journey everything is quite uh, you know easy to follow so yeah. that way uh, you would have uh, you know all the help over there so whenever you have uh, you know uh, requirement or you need to apply for internship so you can start reaching out to uh, your connection mm-hmm. so uh, that will increase uh, your uh, you know chances of uh, you know getting the placements or so um that's uh, another thing i would uh, say and also start working on you know projects and also whatever connections you have built you know uh, you know seek out for the, seek out to them and get some time and uh, you know ask them how you can start preparing from the early days itself not only before the placement Correct. so these things will help you be uh, you know better prepared and also be ahead of uh, you know your uh, uh, you know other uh, you know students irrespective of whether you are getting your campus placements or not uh, you know you are ready for the industry yes, so sure. that's what i would uh, you know so recommend for uh, you know uh, freshers right mm-hmm. um, so talking about the experienced uh, professionals right so it's uh, uh, you know again like uh, plat- beyond platform is what we need to look for right so mm-hmm. applying for a job and waiting for uh, ever is you know uh, it's it's uh, 
uh, just a waste of time and effort right mm -hmm. so instead reach out to uh, you know the recruiter typically when the job is published recruiters usually uh, you know tag their profile who has mm -hmm. uh, you know reached out or you can reach out to you know some of the employees or even to the hiring managers directly mm -hmm. right so uh, there are different ways you know uh, you know they can google and they can find out uh, you know different ways how they can uh, fetch the employee uh, you know email ids of uh, you know particular company mm -hmm. so they can just go through the pattern and from the first name and last name they can you know uh, try combination and it is easy to you know get that so write directly to them and increase the chances of your uh, you know uh, uh, response to your job application mm -hmm. and also don't just write uh, you know blindly that hey i am looking for a job you know uh, you know ch do a fitment instead go to their career website you know look through all the jobs the location that you are looking for and see which job best fits you right mm -hmm. one or more jobs so share the link with them that hey i feel my profile is best suitable for this so why don't you please say you no know, recommend me for this job so that gives them a sense that this candidate is interested and they have done their homework right yeah. so that is another uh, way to look at and uh, another uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know input to those uh, professionals where uh, your work uh, or your resume demands a portfolio right mm -hmm. especially yeah. uh, you know it can be ui engineers or you know product designers or right. content designers so where a work sample of yours is more validated mm -hmm. right uh, beyond your resume and even for ui you know your github profile or you know the open source projects that you have contributed all of those so mm -hmm. supporting uh, additional to your uh, you know resume will help them you know uh, assess you or uh, make a fitment better and increase the chances of uh, getting interview calls so uh, this is what i would recommend and not just uh, do it when you are interviewing so even before you know things are all you know going all well so make a list of companies whom you know uh, whom you want to work for right so it can mm -hmm. be you can make a list of mncs and startups and then start reaching out to okay do i have any first connection or any of my ex colleagues or friends working in this company mm -hmm. and if you do not have any then start building you know your second degree connection or third de degree connection so it is a journey not just you know okay you have you see a job opening and then you go apply uh, it may not increase the chances right so uh, this is what uh, my recommendation to increase the chances of uh, you know getting uh, interview call and another input is that even if you are going you don't have time for all of this and you mm -hmm. want to directly you know have your uh, profile presence in any of the job platform mm -hmm. i would recommend look for those job, job flat platforms where uh, you know recruiters or companies mostly use Mm -hmm. right yeah. See, there will be some uh, you know job platforms which is not widely used Correct. right so uh, uh, you know i would name a few like you know uh, insta hire and linkedin is the best place and mm -hmm. insta hire is one of the new other uh, you know platforms mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know uh, not all companies use nokri as on today especially Correct. the product companies mm -hmm. but uh, you know staying relevant it's not that uh, you are only relevant uh, I mean, keeping yourself updated on other aspects mm -hmm. but even on the job, job platforms point of view so having your presence there uh, you know is very important and also visiting the platform frequently at least mm -hmm. you know once in 3 days helps because usually when recruiters filter out resumes they want to reach out only to active candidates especially for junior point, yeah. roles right correct right so if you have created a profile and for a month you didn't visit then you are tagged as a passive candidate you will mm -hmm. not get a call so that's what it is in, uh, important i think those are very 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 interesting points that you have brought uh, on okay one one last thing which i have like does it matter like say suppose there are multiple candidate who are posting some good content right on the social media maybe linkedin right or or different platform basically having those right set of followers and seeing the right set of maybe you are doing some good projects right and you are sharing across those projects maybe on linkedin right does that create a positive impact in the recruitment either that is hr or hm that this person is doing something good why don't you reach out like does that, that has a weightage in terms of recruitment or not
uh so whatever you are doing and you are trying to complement it to your uh, you know career right so mm-hmm. if it is relevant to your career is what it will uh, be a you know a add on or mm-hmm. a plus point but not if it is completely uh, not relevant see i see some candidates they are uh, uh, you know uh, software engineer or uh, you know some other technical role mm-hmm. they uh, write their good at sports right uh-huh. so there is uh, no relation or it may, it may not add value to value. you know the mm-hmm. role that you are applying right so uh, be careful about the if you have a medium profile mm-hmm. where you are publishing a content uh, related mm-hmm. to your uh, job role so that will fetch you a better uh, you know uh, scope or, or chances of getting the call yeah i think that is most important if you are having the right set uh, if you are the right set of content creator which is relevant to your job profile that is going to give you a weighted but if you have just have the followers around and you don't put any or create a content which is relevant to your job that is not going to put a weighted i think there are a lot of interesting thing that you have shared for the freshers and for the experienced people and i hope that is going to help a lot of folks who are watching this yeah i i think thanks a lot thanks a lot bhagya so basically to come down and basically share your knowledge around the recruitment job there i i know there are a lot of myth right people blindly go and update and as the most important thing that you shared whenever you ask for the referral do share the relevant information along with that because you might have got so many ping and even i used to get a lot of ping saying that do you have any relevant information or relevant job in your company dude it's like lakhs of people around there thousands of teams are around there i am not going to look into the relevant uh, basically job profile for you that becomes very difficult so i think those are the relevant very nice points that you have talked about thanks again bhagya i hope you got some of the questions answered in this episode if you still have few questions put down in the comment i will get it answered in the upcoming episode so what are you waiting for keep watching beyond interviews and keep sharing see you in the next episode